What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's day is going fantastic. Uh, today I just wanted to show off what I watched in the month of January. Um, at the start of this year it did kind of start my letterbox account um, and because of that the first half of this month has really just been me backfilling a bunch of older titles that I've already seen. Um, so really it's not accurate until about the 17th. So today I'm going to be sharing with you my second half of January, everything that I watched according to Letterboxd. So starting off with the first one, Train to Busan. Picked this up last month. Uh, this was a first time watch for me. I'm not a huge zombie movie person, but uh, I actually really, really enjoyed this and the transfer on this looks fantastic. Uh, but uh, yeah, Train to Busan. Uh, definitely enjoyed it. That's a good movie. After that, I dove into the Universal Classic Monsters films and watched all, all four of these films, The Mummy, The Bride of Frankenstein, Phantom of the Opera, and Creature from the Black Lagoon. Um, I enjoyed all of them, although The Mummy and Phantom of the Opera were my standouts out of the four, but I did like Bride of Frankenstein and Creature from the Black Lagoon as well. So happy to be able to watch all of those. Another movie I saw for the first time, would be Cloverfield. Got to watch this on the 4K. Um, I did enjoy this movie. Was not sure what to expect with this movie. Really didn't even know this was a found footage movie. I'm not sure why I missed it. I was definitely watching movies at this time, but just this was one that slipped my mind and never caught, never caught it in the theater or anything. But anyways, um, I enjoyed this movie. Um, yeah, so Cloverfield. This movie was a first time watch for me and boy did I enjoy this way too much. They Live, John Carpenter's They Live. This is the Scream Factory steel book that came out last month. Absolutely love this movie. Great, great flick. Um, then we get into the last picture show. This is from the Columbia Classics Volume 3. I did not like this movie. I don't know if I was in the wrong state of mind or what, but I just really found this movie boring and I just didn't see what the significance of this movie was to be included in one of the Columbia classics. Um, but yeah, I'm going to give it another watch. It does have, you know, Jeff Bridges in here, Randy Quaid and, and a couple others, but I just, I couldn't get into these characters really at all with the things they were doing. I, I just, uh, to me, it was just very, eh. But uh, like I said, I'm going to give it another rewatch at some point. Uh, and then, um, so after the last picture show, I watched The Mangler. This is a Stephen King adaptation. Um, it is a crazy movie. I actually really enjoyed it. It's pretty cheesy, gory, fun. Um, but definitely check it out if you haven't seen The Mangler. Uh, another newer movie that I just watched was House Party. This is the remake, I believe, or maybe it's a continuation. Not sure. I never saw the original House Party. Don't don't shoot me. But um, I wasn't expecting much with this, but I was actually laughing at a lot of the stuff in this. Um, it's not a great movie by any means, but it definitely has some comedic moments, and I think it's worth at least a watch. Um, so uh, I watched that. Then after that, I watched the new movie called Devotion. Um, incredible movie. This is another kind of, you know, war movie. Uh, it's about the first black pilot in the U.S. Navy. Uh, and it takes place during the Korean War. And I thought it was uh, just a great, great film. Uh, and the cast is awesome. I, I can't think of names right off the top of my head. But um, the, the performance in this was good. And there are some very heartfelt moments in this, as you can imagine, with any war movie. And it is based on a true story. So uh, I love those type of films. So I highly recommend Devotion if you have not yet seen that one yet. Now, don't expect Top Gun, Maverick type, um, you know, cinematography or anything like that. But uh, they did a really good job with what they were working with. So uh, I can't say enough good things about Devotion. Uh, okay, getting back into my actual movies that I own that I've seen. Uh, the next movie I watched was Mystery Men. And um, this is just a great, great movie. I did a review on this 4K release from Kino Lorber. Um, so if you're interested in that, definitely go check that out. Might leave a link down in the description below if I remember. Uh, but this movie is so much fun. Uh, tons of one-liners, tons of cheese. The action is is great. It's a bunch of loser superheroes 
set in the 90s. Um, the costumes in this is great. The 4K transfer is amazing. One of my tops from Kino Lorba for sure. And I highly recommend you check it out if you haven't. Another movie that I just got added to the collection last month. Um, so when I buy movies, I usually try to put them in and watch them fairly recent. So a lot of these movies that you're seeing are movies I picked up last month. So Gremlins was another rewatch for me. Absolutely loved it. 4K transfer isn't spectacular by any means, but I'm glad to actually own this now. So that's another one I watched. After Gremlins, another movie I picked up. This was this two movie pack of 48 hours and another 48 hours, but I did only watch 48 hours. Um, this was another rewatch for me, but uh, uh, I enjoyed it. Again, 4K transfer, not spectacular, but happy to have this movie in the collection. Really do enjoy it. Then after that, I put in Belly. This is the 4K Steelbook. I have a video of this unboxing if you're interested in it. Um, but uh, this was a first time watch for me. I did enjoy the film, but I didn't find it special or great by any stretch of the imagination. Definitely going to have to give it another rewatch. Um, but uh, yeah, Belly on 4K looked great. Um, all right, let's get down this list. All right, so the next one I watched, another title I picked up, and that's National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. I popped this in, you know expecting just to watch a little bit of it but you know the the laughs just keep coming and i just couldn't stop watching so i kept it on but uh great great movie if you haven't seen just wanted to add this to the collection now that it was on a decent price and i need a bunch of new christmas movies in my collection so glad to have this after that i popped in toy story 3 this was another recent pickup for me wasn't expecting much out of it it was just super cheap in price and i only had toy story 4 so i was like oh well let's go i guess work backwards and get three and then we'll get two and one at some point if i find them at a decent price but i actually enjoyed this a lot more than i remember it um i was trying to think i can't think at this moment but yeah this was actually really good so um toy story 3 after that i popped in my new Captain America, the first Avenger. I say new just in the fact that it's a recent pickup for me. I just picked this up last month, still with the slip cover. Uh, but yeah, great, great movie. I, it's been a long time since I've seen the original and it was nice to see it in 4K. Just the whole, you know, World War II aspect of it, uh, the, you know, Hydra, the Red Skull, everything about this. I really do like this movie. That's a good one. After that, I popped in this movie. This would be David Lynch's Mulholland Drive. This is the Criterion 4K digi book, whatever you want to call it. Every once in a while, I pop this movie in because the first time I watched it, I was just so, what the F am I watching here? Um, and it's still kind of that way today. Um, I watched it again just to see what I thought. I still, you know, don't love it, but I am starting to understand it a little bit more. But just another one that I popped in the player to watch. And then down to my last two for the second half of January here, I popped in Interstellar. This is one that I pop in all the time. Uh, I just did a recent video on some of my favorite Paramount 4K transfers, and this is one of them. Um, I love the score in this. I love all of the characters in this, the actors. I mean, it's just such a well-made movie, uh, and yeah, I love it. Um, so yeah, I watched Interstellar again. And then uh, this was my last watch of the month, uh, and that was The Green Mile on 4K. Uh, it's been a long time since I've seen this. I ordered this on Black Friday from Amazon and literally just got it in mid-January, um, but it did come with a nice slip. It was only $9.99, but boy, oh boy, this is a great movie. It is long. It's even longer than Interstellar, but um, so, so good. I was happy to watch it. You know, some of the CGI, like the, the bugs and stuff coming out of his mouth in the, in the prison cells and stuff, maybe he's not the best, but everything else about this is just a fantastic movie. I mean, it always gets me teary-eyed watching this, so uh, absolutely loved and enjoyed that. So thanks for watching, guys. This was just my quick second half of January as I mentioned since I just kind of started my letterbox account um, I'm going to be leaving a link down in the description below if you're interested in following along with what I'm watching um, you know in the future uh, and I plan on doing you know an end of month 
kind of watch like this uh just so you guys can see what i've been watching uh and yeah let me know in the comments down below any of these about any of these movies what your thoughts are on them um what did you watch is there anything that you watched that you you know would highly recommend for me to watch i you know i love taking recommendations and putting it on my list i try to get to movies as quick as possible i don't let things sit uh, when I buy stuff, I put them in and watch them. I try to put in and watch the special features if I can. Um, so yeah, I, I don't try and let things sit and collect dust. I don't let stuff just sit there unwrapped. Um, I buy these to watch them and to have in the collection. So yeah, I look forward in, to seeing uh, any thoughts and ideas moving forward. But thank you for watching. As I mentioned, we'll have the link in the description below for my letterbox. So you can follow along if you're interested. And uh, yeah, thanks you all for tuning into this video. Hope everyone's week is going well, and we'll see you all in the next one.